y'all. How you doing today? Beautiful day today. A morning, beautiful morning is a good morning, good afternoon, and a good evening, wherever you may be throughout the nations. This is Brother Yabba Dabba Do. We come here to praise and worship God, learn about the angels, about the angels who are powerful lights of God, that Jesus is the light of the world. So I just want to bow our heads in prayer, and we're going to lift up the name of Jesus, who is the light of the world. Amen. Father, we thank you for today. We give you glory and honor and praise. Thank you that we learned about our angels, Father. Thank you for all the heavenly hosts of angels that kept around about us. Thank you, Lord. We pray for our parents, our fathers, our mothers, our brothers, our sisters. We pray for the leaders of our nations to guide and be led by God. We ask you, Father God, to bless them, protect them. Thank you for our church home, Father. Thank you for the people throughout the world, Father. We call on them in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, this is Brother Yahweh I would love to pray for you. Shalom, shalom. Venice United Methodist Children's Church. We're so glad that you're able to tune in and join with us from wherever you are all around the world. We're so blessed to have you and we're family no matter where you are in the world. Today is our seventh lesson and we've been learning all about the angels. So let's see if we have our friends with us today. Polly and David, are you here? And let's say hello to all of our friends out there. Yeah. It's good to see you, teacher. Yeah. We're so glad to see you, too. Yeah. I missed you guys during the week. Yeah. Did you have a nice week? Mm-hmm. Very mm-hmm. good. Well, do you remember we've been having lessons all about the angels? Does anyone remember the angel that we learned about last week? That's right. We don't pray to the angels. We pray to God and we pray to Jesus. And teacher, teacher, I remember that there are lots of angels too. You're right, David. There are many, many, many angels that God sends to help us. Anything else? How about you out there? Do you remember anything else about the angel that we learned about last week? Do you remember the name of the angel we learned about last week? I do, I do. It's Raphael, teacher. Remember? I have a shirt of Ninja Turtles. Raphael. That's right. I remember your Ninja Turtles shirt. Yeah, his name is Raphael. Teacher! Teacher! Yes, yes. Uh, I know, I know, Raphael. How people feel Mm-hmm. Yeah, Raphael has doctors and nurses too. That's right. He 
he does. And, 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 and when people travel in cars or plane or boat, our brother also goes with them. Yeah, or in big ships. Well, you guys are such wonderful listeners. I'm so glad to know that you've been listening and learning so well. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. And I know out there you've been learning as well. And I'm so proud of you too. Well, well today we're going to learn all about another angel. Anybody want to learn about another angel? Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, today we're going to learn all about the angel Uriel. Ooh. Can you say that name with me? Uriel. Uriel. Very good, Uriel. Well, the name Uriel means God is light. Ooh. He is the angel that carries and shines God's light into things in the world. but it's a much, much brighter light. sing that song later on today at the end of our lesson? Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's I a, love that song. You, oh, you know the song too, then? Yeah, I do. Okay, we're going to sing that at the end of today's lesson. Okay. okay. Don't forget. Okay, I won't forget. Okay, well, Uriel not only shined the light for us to see things in the dark, but he helps us to understand things. Sometimes when you're trying to do something, but you just don't quite understand how to get it done, Oreo helps us. And when you're trying to create things, for example, like maybe you're reading a book or trying to do a puzzle or whatever it is, and you just can't seem to figure it out, you can call on God to send Uriel to help you. And I know sometimes when there's things that, that you don't understand, and sometimes we do get a little scared, but you don't have to be scared. When there are things that you don't quite understand, you can call on Uriel to help us so that you won't give up. You'll keep trying and keep trying to do what seems to be hard. Uriel can shed some light on it to help you. sure you're getting to be a very good reader. That's right. When you don't give up and you keep trying and trying, it becomes easier. And now you know lots of words, huh? Yes, yes, lots of words. Very good. That's because Uriel will come and help shed light on it to make it easier for you. And now you know, whenever there's something you're doing and it seems a little hard, ask God, to send Angel Uriel. Uriel, come and help me, please. Shed some light on this. Okay. Well, another thing, sometimes when we do something, we try, sometimes we do things and then we try to hide. Like maybe your mom and dad tell you, 
Don't eat that cookie until after dinner. Yeah, I said it, girls. It's going to spoil my appetite. Yeah, they don't want you to spoil your appetite. And I know sometimes it gets so tempting. That cookie looks so good. And maybe you eat it anyway. But you want to tell your mom and dad, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Well, Uriel is the angel that will come and help you. Uriel is all around you and will come and help encourage you to just tell the truth and say, I'm so sorry. I ate the cookie. Please forgive me. Wow. Yeah, we need Angel Uriel. always want to tell the truth. It's always better to tell the truth. And you might get in a little trouble, but it'll be much better if you tell the truth. Polly, you should call Uriel. I will, I will, I will now. <laughs> That's right. We need Uriel. Well, it's about the end of our lesson. You guys want to go ahead and sing this little light of mine? <laughs> I'm going to count it three. One. Look, you want to start it? Yeah. When I count it three, let's start the song. One, two, three. This little light of mine, oh, let it let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. for today. This lesson we learned all about the angel Uriel. And what did we learn? We learned Uriel means God is light, the light of God. We also learned that Uriel is a chief angel that shines God's light. Uriel is a powerful chief angel and has many angels that work with him. Uriel not only shined the light for us to see things in darkness, but helps us to understand things. If there are things that you're doing and you're trying to learn and it seems hard, ask God to, to send Uriel to help you to understand. Uriel will help you create things and bring things to your mind to give you a way to do things, new things. Also, 
we learn that sometimes when you do something a little bad and you get scared that you might get in trouble, we're tempted to not tell our mom and dads the truth. But Angel Uriel is there to help us, to give us the courage to always be able to tell the truth. So always tell the truth to your mom and dad and just ask Oreo, help me Oreo, so I can just tell my mom and dad, I'm sorry, I did it. We all need Angel Oreo. I'm so glad you came to join us today. God bless, and I hope you can come back again next week. Thank you. Bye-bye. Well, for our activity today, we're going to do something completely different. We thought it would be a good idea for you to write a letter to God. If there's something that you want to learn, like maybe you want to learn how to do a puzzle, or you want to learn how to read better, or whatever it is you want to learn, you know, ask God to send Uriel to help you. If you know how to write by yourself, that's great. And if you don't quite know how to write yet, ask your mommy or daddy to help you. Write a letter asking God to help you with what you want to learn and to send Angel Uriel. Be sure to drop us a line on email and let us know. You can send us your letter too so we can read it to God and pray with you. God bless you and see you again next week. Bye-bye.